Hey, I'm Fuchi and welcome to Tiny Kitchen Big Taste. We have got a sliced, diced, and super nice show for you today. We're making an Italian chopped salad. Now, growing up in an Italian family has got its perks and great food is definitely one of them. A little chop chop here, a little chop chop there, here a chop, there a chop, everywhere a chop chop. Hey, Old McDonald may have had a farm, but we've got an unbelievably great salad. So grab your chopping knife and bring it. So what you're gonna need is romaine lettuce, traditional Italian salad dressing, the recipe is available on our website, garbanzo beans, roasted red peppers, pepperoni, salami, provolone cheese, pepperoncini peppers, black olives, red onion, and Parmesan cheese. You'll also need a large bowl and a sharp knife. Having family in the restaurant business meant that every family gathering was a huge affair. I remember our family weddings. My grandpa would make an impressive spread of food, including an antipasto that would go on for days and days and days. Now, antipasto, it means before the meal. And holy moly, by the time we got to the main course, we were stuffed with all the meats and cheeses and olives and veggies. It was incredible. My grandpa's antipasto is the inspiration behind the salad. And when we chop everything up, it just creates a really hearty and satisfying salad. Now we start by cutting off the base of the romaine. I'm gonna wash and dry these leaves. So I'm gonna stack up the lettuce and we're just gonna chop it up into little pieces. Now my grandpa would say never chop lettuce, only hand tear it. But hey, this is a chopped salad, so we definitely need to chop up our lettuce. And we will transfer our lettuce into our bowl here. The key to the salad is really good ingredients, which means getting pepperoni from the deli. Have them slice it about a quarter inch thick. We will just slice this into rows. Give it a turn, cut it into little cubes. We will transfer our pepperoni into our salad. On to the salami, I'm gonna stack them up and just cut these into slices. Cut it once this way. Place this into our salad. Cross from the pepperoni. On to the provolone cheese. Again, I got this in the deli and it's sliced about a quarter inch thick. And just like the pepperoni, we'll slice it up and then we'll give it a turn. We'll cut these into little cubes. And I'm gonna place these right next to the pepperoni so that we alternate colors. Next, we're gonna take off the end of the onion and then slice it right in half, leaving the root intact. I'm gonna peel back a couple of the layers. Go in and chop this up. Give it a quarter turn and perfectly chopped onion. Stack them in our salad here. Now onto the roasted red pepper. These are available in your grocery store. They're usually in a jar or a can. I'm just gonna dice these up. And then I will place this right next to the onions. Pepperoncini peppers you can get in the grocery store, usually in the whole pepper, but I found these that were already chopped up. I'm just gonna give it an extra little chop chop. Place that right next to the salami. And then we've got garbanzo beans. I'm gonna leave these whole because they're about the size of everything else. We'll throw those right next to the pepperonis. And then finally, the olives. Cut these right in half. I'm gonna place that right in the middle. Let's dress it up. Check out this gorgeous salad. Is that not beautiful? Before the meal, uh-uh. This is the meal and we're gonna finish it off with a little Parmesan cheese and some Italian salad dressing. The recipe for the dressing and the salad are available on our website. You can also check us out at Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We'll go ahead and give this a toss. When you try this salad, I wanna hear about it. Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, I'm Fucci reminding you that if I can make an Italian chopped salad in a kitchen this tiny, you can make it in yours. We'll see you next time on Tiny Kitchen, Big Taste. Chop lettuce or not, grandpa would be proud. Having a family, having a family. My grandpa, I remember, um, I remember family wedding, wedding, wedding. What is that?